This is a little video of my uh, newly installed long wire antenna that goes from the uh, porch underside at the house in the country and strings across the pond where it hangs from a tree on the other side. And on the other side, you can see the bend in it. We constructed a tripod and there's a 50 pound weight hanging there, keeping it tight. We'll have more from that in another video. So uh, it's 133 feet. There's an insulator at that point, and then it's Dacron uh, non-stretch line going over to the tree. And it comes up under the eave and is attached at a nine to one balance to convert the impedance to 50 ohms. It's attached to a, an eye hook in the beam with an S carabiner. Then it comes down a uh, UHF connector to RG6 cable. Goes under the eave. That's a little service loop if I ever have to do some work on it or stretch it out. Then it goes along the beam. Comes down next to the window and goes in a little junction box that has a house penetration in it junction box has a ground connector on it and uh, this ground line goes through the deck down to an eight foot um, ground rod that's pounded a little bit more than six feet into the ground next to the house and where the RG6 cable terminates there's a lightning arrester and the, uh, and the terminal of the ground is also on the lightning arrester and that goes through a penetration into the house near where I want to do my shortwave listening. And comes out in another junction box down on the wall that terminates with a BNC connector. Right now I've got a, a thin cable going up to my uh, Sanjian uh, uh, 908X, 909X. And uh, I also, and uh, I've got uh, I've got some ferrites on the antenna, reduce the noise. Then I also am using my uh, historic Zenith Transoceanic Radio that I got in 1973. And I've got a, a Sony Airband Radio that I'm playing with as well. Right now I have that connected up to a, to a dipole made from 300 ohm lead. I also am trying out this uh, Texan Amplified antenna and uh, it seems to work pretty good on medium wave but not too uh, not too great on the short wave bands so that's the story of the long wire antenna you can actually see it from inside the house I'll zoom out another time and there it goes reaching across the pond so now we're in the trials phase I'm gonna see what I can hear at various times of the day and the night and uh, I will let you know more